National Highways of Pakistan are a network of trunk roads which are owned, maintained and operated by NHA under the Ministry of Communications. It maintains 12,131 kilometers of roadways organized into various classifications which crisscross the country and provide access to major population centers. One of them is National Highway N70 that connects 440 kilometers between Multan in South Punjab and Koita, the capital of Balochistan. It is a major route from east to west across center of Punjab that eventually provides shortest route between Lahore and Koita. Project site is located in DG Khan district at the border of Punjab and Balochistan. Particularly Rakhi Gaj Bewata section of N70 is known to be the most critical section in terms of road safety due to very narrow roadway, sharp curves, steep slopes in geometric condition and hazardous condition such as unstable roadside slopes, rock fall and flooding of crossing rivers. These situations are causing not only serious traffic accidents and huge maintenance cost, but also adverse economic effect by distracting logistics from N70. And this is ट्रक जब जाता है लोड गाड़ी होती है तो मोड़ नहीं मुड़ता आगे पीछे करना है और गाड़ी स्लिप हो के गिर भी जाती है बाद अकात The project to improve the Rakhi Gaj Bewada section was proposed by NHA to facilitate mobility of both people and goods between east and west of Pakistan and to contribute to socio-economic development of Pakistan To achieve this target, the government of Japan had provided loan of 15.5 billion Japanese yen to government of Pakistan through Japan International Cooperation Agency JICA in 2008. The JICA loan project has been implemented in the aim of strengthening the connectivity between the eastern and the western areas of Pakistan, namely Punjab and Balochistan. The National Highway 70, connecting the two sides of the country, was previously built on hard trains, with steep narrow roads and sharp curves, which are the cause of the bottleneck of the corridor, hampering smooth traffic. With this project in place, specifically by adopting Japanese advanced technology and knowledge, the road section between the two provinces on the highway has drastically improved, which will facilitate increased mobility of both people and goods. I truly hope that this project supported by Japan and JICA symbolizes a valued contribution to the social economic development of Pakistan. To plan, design and execute the project, CTI Engineering International as consultant and Taisi Corporation as the contractor were selected among Japanese firms by NHA. The construction phase 1 to improve the most critical section for 11.6 km was implemented for 3 years from 2016 to 2019. Concept of the project is to eliminate the traffic bottleneck through widening of existing road to two lanes in whole stretch between Rakhi Gaj Bewata, preventing the roadside disasters such as rockfall and landsliding and improving road alignment with gentle curve for safe driving. To realize above concepts, customized application of Japanese technologies consists of steel box girder bridge, prefabricated steel widening, mechanically stabilized earth, formed cement banking, slope protection by ground anchor work were employed by the design consultant. Seven steel box girder bridges made of anti-corrosion steel with total length of 705 meter were applied to improve the road alignment at very sharp curve. Initially at hilly slopes, excavation work was done to form deep foundation by placing steel liner plate and reinforced concrete. Afterwards, piers and abutments were constructed on it to support steel bridge girders. 
in parallel with the construction of substructures at construction site. Fabrication of steel box girders at factories were carried out. Welded steel plates were fabricated by the Japanese fabricator. As specific technology of Japan, anti-corrosion steel was used to minimize maintenance caused by weathering of steel. Eventually, a dense rust is formed on the other surface of steel that ensures lifetime protection. After fabrication, these steel bridge girders were transported to project site. Launching and erection of these steel girders were carried out by using 170 heavy cranes and were fixed by high-tension bolts, then completed with the reinforced concrete desk slab. For widening of two-lane carriageway at hilly area, prefabricated steel widening method was selected. For this, customized fabrication of steel frames and steel pipes was done at factory to shape up bridge steel frame structures. Drilling of rocky slopes was done using down the hole hammer composed of hydraulic hammering and steel drilling with super alloy. Then steel pipes were placed in it like piers. Prefabricated superstructure was erected in the combination with steel pipes continuously by crane and firmly fixed. Reinforced concrete deck slab was constructed in the place to complete the widening. Form consistent high embankment in the limited space. Mechanically stabilized earth wall offers quick solution. This technology has been commonly utilized through bitter earthquake experience in Japan. To apply this technology, excavation was done along sides of embankments, then installation of steel skin panel and geograde implemented and embankment with compaction were repeated to establish stabilized earth embankment. With shearing force is strengthened, the friction between embankment material and geograde enable high and strong flexible embankment to resist earthquake. Finally, shortcrete is provided on the surface of skin panel to cover up the embankment. To widen the road with high embankment on the unstable slope at hilly area, formed cement banking is applied as a best solution. This methodology is known as a part of the lightweight embankment using form mixed cement by special mixed plant. Excavation, concrete shuttering and drainage facility are constructed prior to pouring the formed cement. Special mixing plan for formed cement was prepared. Then cement was mixed with the form produced by the chemicals to create lightweight concrete. Since the unit weight of the formed cement is lighter than the water, even unstable slope can support high embankment due to its light weight. To address slope failure at a large cutting slope, ground anchor work was applied. Principle of this methodology is to reinforce capacity of the loose force surface by PC cable made of steel wires. To improve road alignment of the project, large scale of slope cutting was carried out at an unstable mountain. Subsequently, horizontal drilling was carried out until sufficient rock bed was found to install the PC cables for ground anchor. After installation of the steel wires, drilled holes are filled by grounding mixture of cement, water and solidifying materials to anchor in the rock bed. After grouting is completed, concrete bearing block is constructed to provide tensioning to the steel wire to balance opposing forces. Shortcut is constructed on the exposed earth slope to prevent further weathering of the slope condition. Uh, I think in this area, there will be a significant amount of happiness in this area. Tourism, which is Fort Mandro, will be able to come there. And we say that this is a Punjab and Bulgaristan link. उस तरफ ये जो प्रोजेक्ट है ये एक कामयाबी की अपनी ही मिसाल है All the construction work was executed in the collaboration with NHA, the consultant and the contractor during 2016 to 2019 in very rugged environment. The construction work was severely hampered 
by hazardous rockfall as well as excavation of hard rocks under heavy traffic passing by the construction site to completely turn around an undulating and risking road into a safe route for drivers has been a long awaited public craving over the years now it's a time for a new beginning for all those who were affected by hazards of traveling on such tough hilly road abhi bade bade gaadi idhar se guzar ga karte hain ye logo ke liye hamare ilake ke liye khushali hai road ko jo hai na inshallah hame bahut fayda hua balochran punjab ki jo ilake mein bahut fayda hua bahut salat ho gaya bahut khush hum log जिसने ये रोड और सड़क बनाए हैं और पुल बनाए हैं उनके मैं बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूँ This project has shown that any difficult conditions can overcome with the innovative idea and power of technology. And bridging life through technology is a promised goal experienced by Japan.